with me. What the f going on? Now that testing is done, we can look at the driver lineup. Yeah. Uh, we can take a look at each team. And uh, there, there's not too many changes in terms of uh, uh, drivers for this year. Um, but we can sort of take a look at each team and each driver and sort of go through, you know, the balance between the teammates, obviously championship favorites, um, et cetera, along those lines. Um, so we can start off with, see if we can get this loaded up here. We can start off with the defending champions, actually the, the four-time uh, champions, Mercedes. So the same driver lineup as last year, of course. So Lewis Hamilton and Valtteri Bottas. And so what do you think uh, about this driver pairing? How do you think, uh, you know, you, how would you rate Valtteri's first year uh, with Mercedes going back to 2017? More, I thought it was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I should have done it. Sorry, I should have done it in the Ferrari one. But uh, um, I actually I was really impressed with Valtteri. Obviously, it takes a few a few races to start getting into the groove with a new team. But I I, I think uh, I think Valtteri will finish third in drivers' standings this year. Mm -hmm. I think he'll have a really good shot. Uh, and he'll be in it right to the end. Uh, he he was very impressive. He's very calm and collected. Um, very smart race car driver. Um, obviously, Lewis will be in the top two. That's yeah. Not, everyone's expecting that as well. But um, I, I like the driver lineup. I think it's uh, one of the strongest Mercedes will have. But going to the future, they're going to have to start getting a little younger, I think. Uh, yeah. Hamilton might move on to bigger, better things down the line, too. I mean, who knows? I mean, we've seen him with Mercedes for a while, but those, that always changes. You never know when yeah. if, he, if he could move or not. Yeah. I mean, people were surprised when he made the move from, from McLaren, so... Uh, you, you know, you're definitely right, but I mean, he he is getting older, so so that's another thing. But uh, yeah, I think Lewis is. You know, there was a couple of laps in testing where you're like, okay, you know, he's he's still on top of it. So I think that he's going to be obviously fighting for the championship. Oh, for I'd sure. I'd be shocked if he wasn't. You know, come come time for for the final races of the year, I think that Valter is a perfect teammate for him. You know, a guy that can be competitive, but it's not going to, like, get on his nerves like Rosberg did. Yeah, yeah. You know, so there's not that sort of headbutting. You know, you really saw it last year. They The work as a team was incredible, and well, they complemented each other. Too. Way, happier, Way happier, yeah. I mean, you could you saw it, too. It was just unbelievable, the, the stark contrast between, oh. you know, the last year and then the last couple years with Rosberg. You don't have your running into you. Yeah, exactly. And on both ends. Both ends, yeah. Both ends, different weekends, you know, w whatever the case us, was. Great yeah. drama for us. Yeah, but for the team, it was just a nightmare. So I think you sort of get a status quo from, from yeah. Valtteri, but he did struggle at certain parts of the season in terms of understanding his car. You know, you saw Lewis was sort of on it almost all the time, but then you really saw Bottas sometimes drop behind the Red Bulls you know, sometimes even behind the Force India. So I think that having an off season with Mercedes, being able to sort of now be familiar with the team, with all the technical directors, with everybody inside the team, I think he'll actually be a little bit more competitive this year. I think right around there, he'll might finish, you know, in the top three of the driver's standings. Um, but yeah, I think that he probably middle of the season toward the end of the season is going to start to play that teammate role of trying to hold up the Ferraris or the Red Bulls if they're there. Um, but I, I really like this driver lineup. I think it's just a really good kind of balance between both personalities.